hey there, Tharia, and to everyone else that's just logging on, we're glad to have you with us here tonight. So, greetings, people of the world. Matthias Griffin back with you as we continue on with Let's Play Final Fantasy XIV and Walker live here on Twitch. So, it is time for us to continue our advance here in Guardian Territory. And we will do that by speaking with Lucia. We'll go ahead and speak with her after the... Yeah. You, sir, are in the way of my camera. And I am not a fan of it, so I will not be surprised if I have to turn the camera around so I do not get obstructed. Yeah. This is bound to happen in a stream, so let's speak with Lucia to take on the next Level 83 main story quest entitled Gateway of the Gods. Now that you've recovered, Lucia would have a word with you. Are you well enough to make your reports? Oh, absolutely. You're gonna love what I have to say. Yeah, I think you can take it all in. This anima was summoned with the corpse of Emperor Vardis? Does their depravity know no bounds? You know who you're dealing with, right? It seems not. More to the point, we can surmise that wave of ether issued not from the Tower of Babel, but from the primal lurking within it. A primal whose cry rang rather more loudly in your ears than ours. If you are taken to the tower itself, then this proves beyond a shadow of a doubt that it is the beating heart of the Tullofroy's machinations. Yes, we know what we gotta do. In which case, we have some highly relevant information. Please tell me. As many of you know, ever since we dispatched troops to free the Levieurs, we've been developing a plan to infiltrate the tower. Yeah, please tell us. According to Thancred and his scouts, the main structure is lousy with tempered and enemy, and enemy magitech. Furthermore, the road leading to it has collapsed, making it difficult to approach in numbers. Thus do we propose dividing our forces into two parties, one to distract and one to infiltrate. The diversionary force will be comprised of the Ishgardian, Gridanian, and Lominson delegations. They will begin the construction of bridges to make the Tolofroi believe we are marching upon the tower. Meanwhile, the best suited of our Alamegan, Uldan, and Eastern comrades will use a different method of ingress. And what's that? Yeah, got the information for me? Look here. What do we got? The facility marked in red is the Incaladium, a vast magitech manufactory, in ruins now of course. But the freight tunnel connecting it to the erstwhile Imperial Palace remains intact. While the Tullifor's attention is elsewhere, our infiltration force can use it to enter the tower undetected. Be aware, however, that the underground rail network remains very much operational. In other words, we better be careful. The Tempador is using it to bring supplies to the tower, even now. If it, is, if it can carry their material, it can carry us too, providing we sneak aboard unseen. Are we going to get turned into top frogs again by Stola? Alright, what's our battle plan there, Lucia? The Scions will lead the infiltration party. Once inside, you must locate and dispatch Fan Daniel and Xenos. Yeah. We'll save the people of Garnemald and those who suffer the war over. I'll have my inch vengeance yet, yeah. Having a cruel man like Xenos inhabiting such a beautiful kawaii? While you get our fill, you and me both. How quickly can we enact this plan? Fan Daniel made it quite clear that haste is a priority. Of paramount concern, even assuming he didn't even name the Tower of Babel on a whim. In Aemon's time, it meant Gateway of the Gods. Zonde used it to refer to a void gate, but in this case, it almost certainly alludes to something altogether greater. The eldest and most powerful of primals. In other words, all the more reason to act now, 
The rest of the contingent is aware of the plan and are ready to move at a moment's notice. You also will see north to form Patens. Lisa's group will meet you there. As ever, we are grateful for your foresight. This is the moment we've been waiting for. Spare no effort in your preparations. You got it. And so the thing that was supposed to happen about six levels from now is happening right now. Yeah, I'm, lo I'm looking forward to getting revenge for having a cute little kawaii being possessed by a man who only yearns for blood and nothing more. I guess we're so accustomed to the cold now that we've ditched our jackets because everyone's wearing what they normally wear. Lease. Rika, the way into the tunnel is clear. We've made sure of it. Alright. I wish you made sure to bring a coat instead or we best get in there before we freeze, especially you. Yeah. What are you doing ditching the coat that we gave you? I hope the shoe be on the other foot once we're in, believe you me. A good fight should warm us right up. And as for you two, hmm, barely enough cloth to swallow newborn. Clearly you have spent too long around this feral dog of a Lothal. And obviously you're not familiar with Alamegan customs. Watch your tongue, fool, lest I feed it to the crows. <laughs> yeah, you're still going at it. We will see who is the fool when you freeze to death. Expect me not to warm your ill-prepared hide. These furs are for myself and my Nama alone, should I be blessed to meet her this day. Yeah, you're still waiting on that. Yeah, you'll never find love. As if any woman of worth would wish to be warmed by you, little son. Should we find such a warrior within, she will bask in my glorious flame. Yeah, can we get you two to focus for a moment? Stop, both of you! Save your fire for the enemy! As for extra furs, I have plenty to spare. Ask do we. Oh, it's still uh, coming to join the contention. Yeah, everyone's ditching their winter coats. We're all acclimatized now. We're more concerned about dressing for combat than we are for dressing for survival. Hello, everyone. All set for battle, I see. Yes, free of unnecessary encumbrances if you rather more susceptible to the cold. Let us review our strategy, quickly if you don't mind. Alright then. Pippin's group has gone ahead to the Enchiladium. We are to meet him there. We will wait until the Tempest's attention is drawn by our diversionary force. Then we sneak onto the train. Next stop, the Tower of Babel. If any Tempest included are injured, we Zayla will tend to them. You scions must press on no matter what. Of course. So we're all set to do this. We should avoid moving as a group until we're underground. So we'll need to make our own ways to the Enchiladium. See you there. Alright. Can't wait to meet you underground. Alright, let's go. <laughs> Don't listen to Ondor's lies! Yeah, that, that was an interesting little way to uh, do a mini game. Cause that, cause initially, I'm, I'm sure I'm not alone in this. You probably just spoke with random people trying to find um, the best way to get the word out. Anyway, we have arrived where Pippin is now located. Hi, it's good to see you, Rika. We heard that you collapsed, but you were given only the most cursory explanation. I'm glad you recovered and quickly enough to take part in the operation at that. As you will have heard, we have secured the way in. Some few are to remain behind to keep your escape route clear. Our comrade from Lente's Tears will lead the way into the station, or join you soon. Hi there, young lady. The station is right this way. Tread lightly now. Alright. Looks like we're all set to 
check this place out, so yeah, let's have a look in here. Yeah, we can we cannot fall onto the tracks, thankfully. So, yeah, we gotta just chill out here and wait. Yeah, there are people in queue, I guess we're gonna be um, helping them out possibly. So sometime later. Oh, hey there, Pippin. All present and accounted for. This is everyone. Yeah, it looks like action is going on behind our backs. Yeah, stuff is rumbling. Siren is talking on a link pearl. Consider the enemy well and truly destructed. Time to go. Our primary objective is, of course, the Tullifroy's leaders. But should we be presented with an opportunity to vanquish Anima, we must seize it. If it is indeed the force behind the towers, destroying it will deliver our allies from the Tullifroy's reign of Tella. Of Tella. <laughs> yeah, I definitely have Final Fantasy IV on the mind. And I, for one, would not see the Garlean people manipulated any longer, be it by Primal, Asian, or anything else. Hear, hear, there's been enough of that. We came to help the people of Gollumwald, and that's what we're going to do, together. Yeah, say it with a smile. Till the very end. All set. The train should be along any moment now. Prepare to board, everyone. Yeah, we're ready to do this. <laughs> yeah, Magna, I can't wait to get going. And we have other representatives from the other groups too, and of course, the Scions are at our side as well. If nothing else, maybe we gained a temporary reprieve from the cold weather. Yeah, I'm set to lead you into battle. Along with whoever else may be joining us. As we hear the flames burning further down. We now have access to dungeon number two. The Tower of Babel. This should be the 89 dungeon, but it's the 83 dungeon. But, be that as it may, we have a job to do, so we're gonna do it. As we continue to live and fast forward, let's go check out the Tower of Babel. From the ruins of the Guardian Imperial Palace rises the Tower of Babel, a monstrous edifice constructed by Fandaniel and Xenos' enthralled hordes. While its exact purpose is yet to be ascertained, it is here that the would-be orchestrators of the final days await the Warrior of Light, who now spearheads a daring mission to infiltrate the tower and vanquish the Talofroi once and for all. And so, the train pulls into the station as we prepare to begin our attack on the Tower of Babel. All aboard. But only after the, these guards walk off with their crates. Now or never. Let's do it. Go! Alright, we're going in. Yeah, this is reminiscent of pretty much a whole bunch of, um, brawling games, a whole bunch of beat-em-ups. Of fighting on top of a train. And it starts with the slashers. Alright, Summoner, uh, wherever you are, yeah, this will uh, hopefully be our first opportunity to see what you can do. And of course, we'll be fighting tooth and nail to... Land a blow! Because we have so many NPCs here. We're gonna be forced to discern from friend and foe. Alright, further along. 
we go load up. And approach you as much as we can. Oh, couldn't quite get that off. Magni's in the way. No, Magni, I am not your Nama. Quit asking. Yeah, quit asking there, Magni. Alright, past that. Everyone's going. No time wasted here by our tank. He's just going for it. Oh, do you have to help people too? Well, not if the tank has anything to say about it. Alright, so you're pulling. Go. Yeah, come on, land a blow. Keep from that, please. One and two, and then drop the Star Diver, and boom! And then drop even more stuff. Go. Oh, get inside. Yeah, get inside. It's safe in here. So that you're not getting burned. Oh. Yeah, our team is definitely taking a beating out here. But we got it. So as our allies fall back, we will take on mini boss number one, Barnbus. Accompanied by the scientist that built it. Or the engineer or whatever. Looks like, yeah. Turns out it's own creation. <laughs> yeah, that was funny. Yeah, I build you. First thing it does, punches its creator in the face. Yeah, we don't want to feel that pain. Not at all. Yeah, he obviously does not have a Wii awareness like we do. Also, magnetic effect, but, um, okay, I see how it's going. Alright. Yeah, you gotta figure out what's, it's, whether it's pulling or pushing. Because we've seen magnetic effects before in other dungeons. Oh, he's running away. It's a positive, so I gotta pull back. And we're fine. Yeah, this time they cleverly hide it in the floor of the in the AOE. Yeah, it's definitely a first. Oh, jeez, I'm on the wrong side. Oh, I think I'm on the wrong side. Or stack mix. Run. Oh, still grounding and pounding. He's not giving up on that mech. He's still doing it. Three times in a row. We've already gone down to a quarter. Uh, hey there, Bubba. Welcome to the scene. Glad to have you with us. Hey, I can reach just inside. Yeah, just had enough range to reach in and strike. Oops, back neck. There we go. Yeah, we've almost got you done. Oh, but not before you do this. One last time, and it's the negative um, reaction, but 
The only thing that's reacting to us is our victory over you. Alright, we're on our way. It looks like we got to start things over here. Oh, we can see we're not only going up, but other party members from the NPCs are on other platforms. That's who we're going to have to deal with. Alright, let's throw it down. Yeah, so everyone gets to enjoy their own um, group of enemies to beat up. Yeah, I really want to do away with you first. And now that you're gone, move on to your friends. Drop it on your head. Alright. The others are also down. Pruning fool, stay alert. <laughs> the sun does not heed the barking of feral dogs. Yeah. Well, you're both feral dogs as far as I'm concerned. Still yearning for your bloodlust as you are. I'm surprised you don't sympathize more with that with Xenos. For what it's worth. Are we bombing Shinda or kidnapping a president? Um. Well, we're not, we're not bombing Shinra, but you, you could say we are definitely looking to bomb things. We were able to bomb the Tower of Zot before, but is that more of the method we're going to use to bring down the Tower of Babel? Things go boom, and we move on. I also have to wonder where the title At Arts Horizon comes from. Right, round three of enemies, and this time we've got Colossi. Yeah, slow you down a little bit. Then jump in to Dragonfire Dive Up. Back up to Gears Kogel them. There we go. And yeah, we don't know how many more waves of the enemies we've got. But just keep pushing forward. Alright, next round. Oh, that is the next round is us. Getting off the elevator. Oh, I'm following you guys. Turns out the enemies are over here. Ooh, an Imperial Ring of Slang? You shouldn't have. Yeah, I will definitely take that. As the tank leads us on. In the arms of a treasure chest, I guess. Yeah, might as well just see what's in here for kicks. Lots of aiming gear in this round. Yeah, too bad there's no one who's a ranged DPS that can use this stuff. Oh! Yeah, stay clear of that if you would. Yeah, give it everything you got, guys. Pump out as much damage as we can. Into the air to get ourselves a quick addition of Mirage Dive. Open Sesame. And there's mini boss number two. Luge. Alright, let's do this. Genius, huh? We'll see just how genius you are. Well, that's one way to show off your genius. Just do a full, unavoidable, raid-wide attack. The 
Look out. Yeah, stay on our toes and avoid that danger. Oh, what are you up to there, ugly? He's got something in store. That's what he has in store. We'll play soon too, he says. But everyone's running over here. Oh, jeez. Um, I hope this is right. It's right. Yeah, so... Yeah, we gotta work with uh, various um, floor aspects in order to survive. Oh, we got bombs now on the field. Everyone's blocking over here, with good reason. Yeah, good thing you guys have been here before and you know where to go. He put you in charge for a reason, huh? Well, we'll make that short live. Oh, gee. Oh, we're underwater. Let me guess, we come over here. Because cause frogs can... Deal with being in water. We gotta dodge Magitek missiles in the process. Oh, Luge. I would spit a Lugi at you, but I don't have the ability to do so. Alright, go. Whoa! Yeah, watch out for that crap. Not trying to me, there's Summoner for the last 15%. Careful. And you can see where the crossfire of the shrapnel will be. But we never have it happen. It never gets off. Alright. While we have the opportunity, let's put this thing on. I'll have the, I'll have the opportunity to soft the materia onto it after we're fun finished in here because I can't do that while I'm in the dungeon. Yeah, people are fighting all over the place that aren't uh, that aren't us. They're clearing us a path to move us forward. Oh, we got another floor to go up. I guess we'll here turn it on. Let's be on our way. And also for this one, we have two Vieras, and they both appear to be male. Yeah, this is definitely the turbo elevator. Oh, look what we ran into. Ugh. But hey, the target is sighted. Alright, I'm ready to go when you are. Let's do it. Ouch! Yeah, there are traps in this place. Yeah, let's make sure to avoid those, especially. Yeah, I wonder if those things can actually be damaged in a way similar to that in the hard mode of Soul Mall. Um, where um, steam vents coming out from the ground in the first part of the dungeon can damage not only you, but also the enemies too, and give them a debuff. Yeah, you gotta believe I'm curious about that possibility right now. Right, hit the jump. Follow the garage dive and keep on going. Right, go. Oh, didn't get it off. That's alright. That wall crumbles, we move on. Yeah. Can they take damage? No. Alright. We've debunked it, but there's a treasure chest that... Okay, you're gonna try and get it? Okay. Yeah, you do that for us. Good call. 
I like your initiative. Ooh, careful, careful. Yeah, they're all going for Garlebald. Oh, healer! Healer, where are you? Healer! Yeah, bring it back. Bring it back. Yeah, bring it all the way back. Alright, there goes one. Turn over here, get more things killed. Yeah. Tank almost ended up dying because the healer lost focus. Alright, it's just you and then, then I think we're on to the boss battle. Alright, we're free to go. Let's go ahead and do a little bit of Final Fantasy X reminiscing. <laughs> well, by those terms, by those standards... Yeah, it's a callback to Final Fantasy X. Anima is on the scene. Yeah, they call them Icon of Icons, incidentally. In a place where, for, where religious worship is strictly forbidden. And they always refer to them as Icons because of it. Oh, I don't want to feel what that Luna Nail would feel like. But yeah, we can, we can go and get an idea. Looks like we'll have safety over here. We will. Yeah, Anima's not going anywhere. I mean, he's bound. But that doesn't mean he can't make us suffer with a lot of damage. Oh, I'm ch I got a I got a tether. I got a tether. Yeah, I gotta try and minimize this as much as possible. Oh, pull me in! Hey, yeah, pull me in, the little jerk. Anima begins feeding on souls. Yeah, they're on either side of us. Ow! Oh! 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 Oh, and it's getting bigger. It's getting bigger. It is getting bigger. All right, now it's turned off. Ooh. Yeah, that was scary. All right. Oh, we're stunned. We're stunned and we can go nowhere. A horrific war tears at the fabric of reality. We're sinking into the abyss. Are we going to be reunited with Greg and Hildebrand here? Yeah, we got an enraged we got to outrun. Oh, stuff's going on over there. I might want to, um... Oh, what, what are they doing? They okay, yeah. I was right. Yeah, here, have a little on me. Once I have the opportunity to do so, I will use Kogel and Nastron again. Oh! Oh, we got um, Chase AoE. I guess I'll have to burn this on myself for now. Yeah, you can see where those nails are going. Oh no! On the crossover! Oh, that was unfortunate. Yeah, I don't know who lost sight of who, but at least we stopped the enrage. As long as we stop the enrage, that's what matters. Oh, he's pissed now. Yeah, and it was mad. But we made our way back up. We're back up to the surface. 
And sadly, no sign of Greg or Hildebrand. Okay, we got this thing again, I guess. That sucks us in, and then we start running. And then we start running. Because it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. Yeah, we're almost at never break points. And there's no point in wasting it, so go. Let it all fly. And there we go. Alright, so... Ooh. Yeah, the pain is spread out more now. Oh, run, 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 run. Oh, they tricked me. They tricked me, it was a treble. Yeah, good, good on you. But yeah, the last time they did he did that it was a double, but this time he went with a treble. Oh, run, run. Yeah, spread that out. Alright there, summoner. Let's team up again. Yeah, can't dodge that, but we can dodge what's coming next. Or at least minimize its effects. Oh! Uh, yeah, I'll come front and center. I'll come front and center and get in your face like the warrior of light that I am. We've almost got you taken care of. Just a little more push to the end. You won't be feeding on any more souls there, Anima. We got you. Yeah, and with his dying breath, Lloyd be the Garmold is what he's going to go out by saying. I miss the days when we could use the Joy Emote after a victory. I mean, we just killed the reincarnation of an Emperor. That's to be cause for celebration. Alright there. Um, Heater, I guess the comm is going to you. So, after our victory... Farewell, Varus. May the gods have mercy on your soul. Come. The other two await. Yeah. We gotta take care of the real threat and uproot it. We're coming in! Yeah, Fandano's having fun with our control panel. But, we have a job to do. This madness ends here! Oh, it's, we stopped six or seven more levels, though, to deal with it. Oh, hush. This is the best part. Enough! As Denny wants to be the first to take a crack. But, there's a force field in the way. Yeah, of course Fandina would try something that devious. Yeah, have fun, you freak of nature. Oh, mighty Zodiac! Awaken from your slumber and descend! Are we getting the lunar cry from Final Fantasy VIII? It certainly looks like it. And he's using Highland's power to do it? Some manner of magical defense? Oh, what? Cryo, what, what are you doing here? Cryo? But how? Unless someone's masquerading as her. Oh no, Highland just wanted Shepherds her back. That find my adversary will not be so easily broken. 
Hydaelyn, feeble relic of a forgotten age. Hark, victory is mine. You have full power to the cannons. Yeah, all those crystals are going away. Yeah, not even the last one's gonna hold out. Wait, what? It... As long as one stands... No more ether. And I was so close. I guess you need to brainwash more people. My lord. A slight change of plans. We shall travel to the moon and break this wretched barrier ourselves. Whatever it takes. Yeah. But how am I going to get past the force field? The final order issued by Anima to the Tempered Thrall. Should the Empire fall, the world must share her fate. Of course, Father lacked the conviction to give such a command. The abomination born of his flesh was but a puppet, and I the puppeteer. Yeah, controlling your dad like that. Oh, and they're only There's just getting a started. There's joy in watching your flailing attempts to fight the inevitable. You're all going to die, and they're powerless to prevent it. Yeah, and since the force field's up, we can't stop them from escaping. We really must be on our way. You're welcome to give chase, provided you are content to leave comrade and tempered alike to die screaming. And thus they successfully escape. Yeah, Highland, what are you trying to do? Yeah, that's quite a bit of ways out. I have asked too much of this child. Tend to her. Yeah. You have. The last brand at Mare Lamentorum is yet unbroken. Zodiac remains bound. I have shifted the flow of ether and sent the enemy far from their destination. Now, I shall divert it once more. An ally awaits, and I will deliver you unto him. Who is this ally? Seek his aid. Restore the seal. Zodiac must not be set free. Yeah, we still need to make an escape. Running wild. Not only those at the tower, but those back at the camp. The others are doing their best to contain them, but the situation is growing beyond our control. Leave them to die or give up the chase. Just like Van Daniel said. So what do we do? I'm the one Xenos wants, or only I can end this. Garnmold's fate is in your hands, or whatever. Yeah, only I can bring an end to this. It's the responsibility of the Warrior of Light. You're... you're going alone. You have people to save. Yeah, I can tell you really want to come along, but this isn't the time for that. You have our trust and our faith. I pray we have yours. See what's gotta be done. Yeah, 
all of you. Our friends in the Tempered need our help. We will save as many as we can, I swear. Once we have matters well in hand, we'll join you on the moon. Until then, be careful. There's no telling what you'll find. Oh, don't we know it. Yeah, the lunar cry has not happened yet. That's Duke of Alphano to complete the quest. If all the Templars are affected, Julius and his comrades likely put up quite the struggle. We'll find a way to save them. We must. I only pray we are not too late. In the meantime, may the Twelve carry you to victory. That's hope so. So we'll take our 468,000 experience points, 3,000 gil, and the final Aether Current in Garlemald. You may now enter the Tower of Babel with a party of NPC avatars. Garlemald Attunance completes. First one of the run.